Now, I'm not trying to say that I've had something to do with the greatest golf ball ever invented, but I think I've had something to do with the greatest golf ball ever invented. Let me explain. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to the channel. You see guys, my favourite ball I actually have in this very bag, my favourite golf ball of 2022 was this. And you may have recognised guys that in my video when I reviewed the golf ball, I absolutely loved it, but I just wasn't sure on a couple of technicalities about it. I wasn't sure about, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't sure about the colour. I even had a hole in one with this golf ball from 220 yards with a four iron, probably one of the best golf shots I've ever hit. And the reason why I've not got that golf ball with me is because I didn't want to lose it because I'm a bit weird like that. But I went to the farms in Rancho Santa Fe, California, and I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw a jar on the side in the pro shop with these in. And I thought, you know what? I've never ever seen these golf balls in these colors. We've got a tailor-made tour response in pink. We've got a tailor-made tour response in like a deep red eye. That's probably my favorite one. And also a tailor-made tour response in a lovely blue color. For me, this is how these golf balls should have been when they first came out. The, the, the lime green for me, it just kind of blended into the ground a little bit more. I'm gonna play this back from the video. So a few issues that I might have around this golf ball. The color's not great, like I don't mind it. It's okay for today's video. If I was gonna use it all season, I think knowing Taylor made they probably will bring out some different colors. So guys, we're gonna test these golf balls, see if they are a little bit better than the green version, see if you can see them a little bit more. We are in winter here, but you can see that the greens and the fairways are a little bit kind of yellowy green, so the exact color that the tour response would have been. Have Taylor made listened to my video Probably not because these actually came out a long time ago. You you always get the best stuff in America. We never get this kind of thing. I didn't know these were a thing until I looked in the pro shop at Rancho Santa Fe, the farms, and literally saw them in the jar and I was like, I need those in my life. Let's go and play some golf with them. Let's test them around the greens. Let's see how good they are. Guys, hit that subscribe button if you're new. We are well on the way to a quarter of a million subscribers. I'd love you to be a part of it. Chris is here somewhere as well, so let's find him. So Chris, remember when we went to the farms, Rancho Santa Fe? I remember the farms. We didn't see them that time, but this time no. I've been twice. I went back last week and I saw these. Chris, you don't know what these are. However, I've got a new glove, everyone. I'm rotating gloves. James always goes on you about that. Rotate your gloves. I've actually got one glove. Uh, pick one out. Do you know what these are? Oh. oh. Look at that. So guys, show, show them what you've got and I'll pick one out as well. to be honest. It is a Ooh, Chelsea blue. I've got... I've gone red. You double dip. Like Put that Arsenal, back in. Like shirt, Put it? the one back in. Get the one you had out. That's cheating. That's that one look. Right, no, guys, no, so we're going to play this golf ball. So the big thing about these balls is they are a three-piece urethane ball. Effectively, they're very similar makeup to a Pro V1. Yep. They're a little bit cheaper than a Pro V1, which is why they kind of caught my eye. Even the version without the stripe on, I quite enjoyed. But for me, the stripe technology, which we are going to talk about over on Chris's channel, Chris Dennis Golf, so check that out after this video but see just how much effect it can have, mainly with putting, but also for lining up off the tee, also with short game. Chris, mm. uh, we've got- What gone. was the other colour? Green, wasn't it? Was oh, sorry, it was- um, I don't know, James I want to give that my niece. Ah, I thought you might I didn't want to lose that. Is like, that the one you pulled out first time? Yeah, that's going to my niece. I didn't want to lose it, so. Stop trying to make the fans think you're actually going to give it to your niece. If you find that around Woolley Park later, James has lost it on another video. Right, 140 yards, I'm gonna play a little chippy seven iron. You see, the big thing about a urethane ball is you can sort of play those workable shots. You can play the ball nice and low and then the spin will elevate the ball up. It doesn't just launch really, really high to start with. Like that. See the number. Good shot. As it starts oh, Chris, to rain. that's perfect. Pin high. I love this golf ball. I do hope tailor-made start to maybe think about putting this stripe technology on maybe the TP5 on the more higher end ball. But if you want in a golf ball that's not quite as expensive as a TP5, the tour response for me is probably one of the best you are going to get. Chris, uh, over to you. I've stole a bit. Oh, okay. Right. Hey, Tane, let's fly it. No. It's coming back. Sit. Ooh, ooh, plugged, I think. Plugged and lost, first ball. First well, gone, yeah. on the pink one already. All the way to California to get those, Chris, and that's one shot with an eight iron gone, perfect. One it wonder. Right, guys, so a nice little bit of controlled stoppage there. That's one thing which I really enjoy about the TaylorMade Tour Response Ball. For me, probably one of the most underrated balls of the year, that and 
Kingsmith say it. The Costco Kirkland Performance Plus, love that golf ball as well. There's no better ball I'd rather kind of kick things off with than, to be honest, it was a total surprise. They're almost like a top secret ball, these, because TaylorMade have never really made a big song and dance about them. They almost feel like a custom order. Chris, I'll let you, uh, let you go. Have you moved it out of its pitch, Mark? I have. Little 52. Go on. Hmm. Not my finest Not shot. Your best. Right. So when I first tested the tour response, I hold quite a lot of putts. Roll, he's got it. He's got the line. He's got the line. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll do the same here. Because to me, that looks so good. And really, really helpful for people if you are thinking about struggling with alignment on putts and things like that. Is it on me, Chris? I believe so. Just I'll let you to... come up the hill. Just took a... I oh, don't see that one in, my friend. It's took a, a skip. Th there, it was a good roll until it took the skip. And again, there, you can see that it did roll pretty well there with the red and white of Arsenal Football Club. That's a great roll. Oh, oh. straightened up. Oh. How good did that look, by the way? Great on roll. the roll, I hope you got it on the camera because that it, looked incredible and that is one up. It it? Looked, do you know what it looks like, that? What? Mikel Arteta's total football, that's what it looks like. <laughs> this is a bit more like Graham Potter's, this. All over the shop. All over. Right, that is one up to Robinson. And guys, one of the things that a lot of people do like about this ball, about the aligned technology on it, you can just set it up to help you off the tee. So if I set this up, kind of left-hand side of the fairway here, the wind's off the right, off the left, sorry. So I'm just going to fade right, it, exactly, yeah, I'm not too sure. Fade it off that left side. I put it more at my start line. If you do put this more at your finish line, you might struggle because the ball might not start where you want it to start. And also it kind of helps you with your swing path as well. If you struggle with an over the top swing path, you put this aligned to only just a little bit more to the right hand side, help you feel as you're coming more into out, right. Nice fade off that side. Just like that. Oh, did you see that? Where did that go? Middle of the fairway, it like clipped that tree and just spat it out. I thought I was just going to skirt past it. Oh, look at that. You can really see that well in the air as well, can't you? I think you can see the blue better than the red. I think the yeah. red's a little bit dark on the it green. It didn't seem but... to shift its axis, did it? The spin axis there looked really, really neutral, which is what you want for a good drive, isn't it? Let's go up there and see where they are. A natural Sunday. ball striker, some Natural say. ball striker. That's Chris's new brand, apparently. NBS. Right, well, guys, it is winter rules. So, obviously, winter rules, I can clean and place my ball. Make sure I do that. And this is where this ball can become effective as well, because... Obviously, I can't usually align it on a fairway. Chris can't because he's in the rough, but I can take advantage of that and just give myself a bit of visual feedback. Again, this is nothing that you can't do with the standard tour response ball, but for me, the different colours just stand out so much. I hope these are mass made eventually. Come on. Nice fade into that flag. What a ball flight. Get up. Very dark, the red. Good shot, though. I think it's pin eye, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the red is dark, isn't it? Hmm. Much easier to see this blue. So, again, I've aligned it up the left-hand side. The ball stayed dead straight. Didn't have any movement on it. But, again, that's one thing that a lot of people don't do off the tee, like James said. They might aim it to the middle of the fairway, set up, then they push it, and it goes into the right, into a bunker. Lining it up here, I know even if I hit it dead straight, we've still got a good shot into the green. that is sit yeah great shot Chris it's much easier Came out nice and low that well it's what you get when you strike a ball properly James wish I could use Tacoma blades <laughs> right well we found her that's uh, I thought it was further up than that but again we'll clean and place not bad plenty of action see the spin on there what a roll that is. Go on. Oh, it's a good roll, but it's not enough. Downhill, winter golf. It's not getting there. 
lovely. It's my door, but it'll do. This for the half. This for the half. It's got to be a good cup outside the left with good pace here, James. Yeah, it probably helps me that this is for the half. I can be a bit more aggressive on it. Get a nice the roll on this. Square my hips up, Chris. Square the hips, release the head. Oh, bad read. Good roll, bad read, not enough, as Chris said. That is level going to the final hole, par three. Who's going to win, guys? Get in the comments below. And also, would you use these balls if you found them in a jar in the pro shop? Ah, right, 145 yards. A little eight iron. Hopefully, don't fly it long like the ninth hole here yeah. at Woolley. Flight one down. He duffed it and that is all over it. I, I didn't duff that. Oh, absolutely flushed it and got called a duff. That, um, that, was, that was heavy. That was flighted down, struck perfectly. Damien. Someone would call that. That was a duff, like I'll own up to my duff. The former Chelsea player, Damien Duff. Well, because yours is actually looking closer and closer the nearer we get. That good strike of mine. That Duff. My Duff did well, didn't it? I thought it looked long, but again, you can't see it very well, can you? See, I just want to give myself the opportunity of getting there first. Is that that old chestnut? Yep. Ooh. Terrible stroke, terrible strike, and you could tell by the roll on the ball, that's the feedback you get, but it is a par. Oh, better finisher than Lukaku, I am with that Chelsea golf ball. Guys, that for me is potentially one of the best top secret balls that you could have bought last year. Who knows what's coming this year? I've really, really, really enjoyed that.